The Pathophysiology of Chronic Venous Insufficiency Chronic venous insufficiency is the inability of the venous system to allow flow out of the lower limbs or legs back to the heart. This contributes to increased pressure in the venous system when standing or sitting. This is often referred to as venous hypertension. Due to the increased pressure at the level of the ankles, which often exceeds 90 mm mercury while standing, fluid starts leaking out of the smallest blood vessels, that is the venules and capillaries into the tissue. This leads to swelling of the legs, which is usually the first clinical sign of venous insufficiency. This progresses during the course of the day and is worse before going to bed. After elevating the limb during rest, the venous pressure subsides and the edema decreases. If the pressure in the venous system is persistently high, blood cells and the content of the blood also starts leaking or extravasating into the tissues. When red blood cells leak into the tissue, the content of the cells are broken down. Iron molecules inside the cells are deposited into the subcutaneous tissues, contributing to the typical red-brown discoloration referred to as hyperpigmentation. The histological description of the iron oxide or rust pigment in the tissue is referred to as hemosiderin. When white blood cells leak into the tissue, it contributes to localized inflammation around the veins. This can expand to include a larger area of the limb, associated with pain, redness or erythema, more swelling or edema and increase in temperature. Specialized white blood cells called mast cells may also leak into the tissues. When these cells disintegrate, histamine is released into the tissues. This can further contribute to inflammation, but on the skin it can cause an itchy sensation, pruritus, as well as dry flaking of the skin, contributing to eczema. This is more pronounced in people with a tendency to allergies. Fibrin, which is made up of strands of protein within blood that is important in the process of blood clot formation, can also leak into the subcutaneous tissues contributing to fibrosis or hardening of the skin and subcutaneous fat. The medical term for this is lipodermatosclerosis. The extravasation of the content of the blood into the tissue under pressure explains the signs and symptoms of chronic venous insufficiency. This includes edema, hyperpigmentation, inflammation, eczema and lipodermatosclerosis. All of these changes contribute to a relative reduction in perfusion of the skin. If this becomes substantial enough, an ulcer could develop. This skin ulcer is referred to as a venous ulcer, a venous stasis ulcer or a chronic venous insufficiency ulcer.